time you guys are stopping by my channel. Hey, what's up? My name's Jessica. What was that? Whew. What is up, you guys? It is Jessica, doing things differently, and today I come to you with a wish haul. Oh yeah, getting back to the basics, baby. <laughs> so, we're back on a regular schedule. You know how things got messed up recently. My video got deleted, and unfortunately, my schedule got all the way screwed up. So, we're back. We're better. We're good. We're on track. <laughs> so, if this is the first time you guys are stopping by to my channel, my name is Jessica. And on this channel, we do mostly reviews. Sure, I dibble, I dabble into other things. But for the most part, my desire is reviewing. And how do I do it differently, you might add? Well, I'm not like everybody else. Everything doesn't have to be perfect. Everything doesn't have to be so, you know, black and white. You know, sometimes things are described very basic, very, oh my God, I'm, I'm loving it. Oh my God, I just, I'm so obsessed. No, cut all that out. That's not me. And if that's what you want to see, go check out other people's channel because on this one, we're not there. We're not going to be there. We'll never, never be there. So you want a real review and an honest review? I got you. You want to talk about how the butt plate, the butt tags uh, of some underwear shouldn't be there? I got you. You want to talk about how the design is, is there, but it just doesn't look good on my body type because of my flaws and what, what I have insecurities about? I got you. You want to talk about how, you know, certain things might not be the best quality, but they're still good? I got you. Because on my channel, we do things differently in the aspect of I am real and I got that for you if that's what you want to see but if you don't that's okay you can visit somebody else's channel but on my channel I just want to be honest I want to be goofy I want to be like I want to be like your friend through the screen you know what I mean I don't want to be that youtuber who feels fake who feels scripted who feels like I should say the next like trendy thing because that's what everybody else is saying or that's what everybody else is doing sure well like jump on a trend because it's trending right now like buying from a certain company yes because that's where my views are going to be but is my my video going to be the same as everybody else's no no it's going to be a little bit different now if you don't think that it's different and you don't think that you know my channel doesn't isn't deserving of that that title i guess you could say then that's fine and that's your opinion and i'm okay with that but i just thought that maybe i would let you guys know you know what i'm all about now you can ride with me or you don't have to and i'm perfectly okay with that all right all right so i got about 10 items to show you guys today i may not have like the um the pictures to all these things because I've had these things for quite a while. They're mixed in with a lot of like my limited quantity item deals, mixed in with some of my clickbait items. So I may not have all the links for or the prices for these. Um, I will let you know if it's a limited quantity deal and I will let you know if it was like a clickbait item or I'll let you know if it was just something I bought and I, you know, I just don't know how much it was. If you don't know what clickbait items are, on Wish, you see something and it says $3.73. You click on that item, you pick your size, and then it says $10. And you're like, what? So you take it back out, you go through it again, and you hit the extra small. When you hit the extra small, $3.73 pops up. Well, you get that item hoping that it fits, and a lot of times it does. A lot of times it doesn't. But that's what a clickbait item is. Limited quantity deal items are used to be at every top of the hour you could hurry up, scroll through, find something that said limited quantity deals on the item, click on it, click your size, click the color, whatever it may be, get it in your basket as fast as you could, and go ahead and check out. Then you have 24 hours to see if you were the first person to get that item for 50 cents or not. It's actually added up to like 80 cents, I believe. And then if you weren't, you refund it and then try again. Now, you could have done that every top of the hour and done as many as you wanted to do, hopefully thinking that you would win five, ten, one, however many you chose to do. And there you go. That's what a limited quantity item is. So that's what I have here today. Our shout out of the week goes Sabrina to Sabrina Shook. Now, hopefully I'm saying that right. I don't really imagine that I could be saying it wrong. But just in case I am, I do want to mention I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. But it's a pretty self-explanatory name, I hope. 
Uh, but thank you so much for commenting on my video. I just want you guys to know that, you know, I love when you comment on my channel. Uh, it, it brings me a lot of hope. It brings me a lot of, you know, know that I kind of, I'm doing things right. You know what I mean? Or that, uh, especially when you comment things like this, I love your channel. You're doing really good. Great job. That kind of stuff. It just, it gives me hope, you know, it lets me know that I'm at least doing something right for a few different people, you know, maybe not everybody, you know, I, mean, I could not be everybody's cup of tea and I'm all right with that, but I'm other people's cup of tea and that's all that matters because not everybody's going to like me and I understand that, but I do have my, uh, my lovely subscribers. Thank you. Yep. All right, you guys. So like I said, we have 10 things to get into today. So let's hurry up and get into those things. Let's go. So. First item, some of these I wrote on, some of them I did not. Description of content is dress, and this is an extra small. Now, I will say this. If it's an extra small or even sometimes a small, I know that that's probably clickbait because I would never order that size if I were to buy something on Wish outright unless it was a plus size because I know that a small is probably going to fit me in a plus size. You know what I mean? So, all right, so here is the first guy. Oh, so it is a dress. Okay. So it's just a kind of like a flowy green dress. Um, it's cute. It would be cute in the summertime with like a little brown belt uh, and a little crossover purse. Yeah, that's really cute. You could definitely dress this up. So with those like little short boots, I think this would look cute with and a little belt that kind of cinched in the waist like that. Yeah, this is definitely cute you could definitely wear like a jacket or something over it um if it was too chilly for this for some reason but like i said look at this this is a size small definitely doesn't look like a size small so this is the first guy the next one says men's top <laughs> okay this is a size small as well meaning that this was probably a clickbait item or I got a size small because it was in a men's, which could have been a possibility as well. But this is just a cute little t-shirt that says, uh, believe. And I like these type of shirts from Wish because this is an actual t-shirt type material. Um, and this right here is not like that real plasticky feeling um, the iron on thing that they put on here, you know how it's like super plastic and it just makes a bunch of noise. This one is not like that. So that is awesome. But yeah, this is just a nice little t-shirt that you could wear with a pair of jeans, whatever. Um, so very pleased with that one, especially because it feels like cotton, which is awesome. This one is a limited quantity item. I was actually going to send this to Melissa, the cheap chick, um, when I sent her that mystery box. But right when I was packaging up everything, uh, I, I was packaging it up for like two days straight. So I was like kind of trying to figure out what I was going to put in there. And she had just come out with a new video. So I'm watching her video as I'm painting the box because I painted the whole box with question, mark, question marks. And um, I was going to put this in there. And in the video that I was watching, she was she actually got this. So I was like, ah, well, I guess I won't send it to her. <laughs> so I kept it for myself, and I'm just now opening it. That's how long ago I've had this. But these are the shorts. They're just cute little uh, nighttime shorts. They don't have, like, an adjustable waist. So I guess if they don't fit you, they just don't fit you, which that kind of sucks. Here is the top. It's just a cute little chew wow wow. And then the back side of them continues on the back of the shirt. And this is actually pretty big. Um, I mean, it's gonna fit me obviously because it's always better to get bigger than smaller, but this looks like it might be too big on me. A lot of times you look at it and you're like, oh, that's gonna be too big. And then you get it and you're like, oh, or you try it on and you're like, well, I guess I was wrong. <laughs> All right. Next, we're going to go with this guy, and this one says, Description of Contents, Women's Shirt Extra Small. And this was definitely a clickbait item. I actually remember this one. Oh, this is cute. It has, like, little slits on the arm, which is super cute. And it's, like, a gradient blue, so it goes from light blue to darker blue. And it's definitely a little bit see-through, but I think once I have it on, um, it won't be that bad. 
All right, here is the next one. This one doesn't say anything, actually. Okay, so these were limited quantity. Uh, this was a limited quantity item. <laughs> and these are in a size medium. And they are definitely supposed to be like leather pants. They are definitely pleather. <laughs> but I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see the shininess of them because they're not like super shiny, but if you can hear this, they're definitely um, a softer leather, that's for sure. Oh, I don't like these at all. These were definitely nothing like what I thought they were gonna be like, but let's look at the cool things on them. So there's cool little zippers here and a cool little zip zipper detail there, and they are skinny legs. So. Let's hope that these look good. Let's go ahead and start trying these guys on. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so here is this one. And it feels like a regular t-shirt, which is actually really nice. I did leave on my tank top to kind of show you guys, which I don't know if it's gonna come across on camera like it is in real life. But you can see right here where my tank top is. So it is a bit see-through. Not a crazy amount, but a little bit. You just wear a nude bra and you'll be good to go. Now, like I mentioned before, I do like the fact that this isn't like, like that plasticky iron-on uh, material, so that makes it also a lot more comfortable. The length is really good. I mean, it's a basic t-shirt. I don't really know how much you could say about it, but I really like it, and I think that this was definitely worth it, that's for sure. So let's see what we have now. All right, so here is the next one. Oh, this baby's tight. <laughs> this is definitely a size small. Now, as you guys, I don't know if you can see, but like, it's like smooshing everything down and watch this. Like there's absolutely no stretch to this at all. Like it's very tight and I was so hopeful. I really, really like the shirt. I love the little designs here. That's a nice added touch. Um, but yeah, it's pretty snug. So this can definitely go to my daughter if she wants it. Um, maybe it'll like stretch out after keeping having it on for a little while, but this is definitely not one that is a bigger size, even though it says a small or extra small. So that's unfortunate, but that's okay. Let's see what we have next. All right, and here we go. As you can see, it fits me just fine. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be a little bit too big, but it's not. So I like the fact that it's a crop top. I could see myself just wearing this shirt without the shorts. The shorts are good, but I would say usually when you have like a crop top, then you kind of make the bottoms high-waisted. Is Am I wrong? I don't know. That's just what I expected. <laughs> but the shorts are actually really comfortable. They're very like stretchy, so there's definitely like more room that you could go. Uh, you could definitely fill them out more. So this could probably go all the way, I would say, even if you were a large, uh, maybe if you were between like a medium and a large, this would still definitely fit you. Obviously, it's a little wrinkled from being in the packaging for so long, but here is the back. And I just think this is darling. I, I mean, and it's very, very comfortable. You know, surprisingly, it's more comfortable than all like the Shein and Romway um night stuff that i get because there's the shorts are either a little bit too tight or they're a little bit too baggy or they just fit a little bit weird but this is wonderful i'm pleasantly surprised and it is like a stretchy material but not shiny i'm not much of a dog person i do have a cat so i'm more of a cat person but still very cute nonetheless the little doggies on the shorts yeah I'm really surprised that I like this. I didn't think I was going to. I give this about, I don't know, like an, a 9 out of 10. There's nothing wrong with this at all. I like me. I like she. She likey. Yes, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Are the pants and can you hear that do 
Do you hear that noise? I'm like a walking noise machine. I don't hate these, these pants, but I'll never wear them. As I'm walking, it feels like, like right in here, like you see how like they're coming down really low and then I'm going to have to go like that again, you know, and I don't like that. And as I walk, they, the, the waist part, I can like feel it like watch. Okay. So you can't see my tattoos right on my belly. Can't see them. I'm going to walk to you and I guarantee you see them. they're starting to peak it just feels like they're falling down if that makes sense they do look cute on my butt they're definitely like um like look at me pants like look at me and i don't like that so maybe i'll get up the courage to wear these one day but they're just show me pants and i don't like that kind of thing let's try it in the dress now all right and here is this one as you guys can see, I added a belt, I added a jacket, and I have a pair of black little boots on and a pair of brown boots on because I didn't know which one would look better. But yes, see, I told you this could be cute. It looks like a little nightdress, which you could definitely wear it as a nightdress, but you could spice it up, just for it like this. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And it's really cute. Now I'm going to take off the belt and show you what it looks like um, without everything. Because I think that's important too. Just to kind of show you guys what it looks like plain. So this is what it would look like if you didn't have a belt on. If you didn't have a jacket on. You see the difference? Now it just looks like a plain green dress. So if I introduced you to this dress like this, you'd be like, hmm, yeah, I don't know. I'm not feeling it. But if I introduced it like this, you know, it's all about the presentation. And when you pull the little pieces over and make that like that pleated look, girl, yes, yes. Where are you going? <laughs> Who are you going out with tonight? You know, it's all about presentation, you guys, and this, this is a cute little dress that you could do something with. It's like the simple things, you know? So if it's simple, you can add as much as you want to dress it up, you know? All right, let's go ahead and sit down and look what else we have. So let's go ahead and see what we have next. Here is this one. This one is a limited quantity item, and it says black ripped pants. I see these all over my, like, on Facebook when it shows you, like, little wish ads. I see these all over my Facebook page. So, hopefully these look as good as they do in the picture. So, they are just regular little black pants, and it has these two little drawstrings in the front. And then, you can't really see it that well, but it does have a few rips here. And I'm, hopefully you'll be able to see it better when I put it on because even just putting my arm through it, you couldn't really see it. But they also are skinny jeans. And I did get these in a size medium. So hopefully this is good <laughs> because I've been wanting these for a really long time. All right. And then here is this one. This one says Palazzo Gray Medium. I don't know what that is. <laughs> All right, what is this? Oh, they're pants. Okay, so they're just like uh, wide leg. They're uh, very like silky smooth. They're definitely wide leg. And if you see on the belt part of them, you can um, push all the thread or all the material over to one side or the other, or kind of like space it out to where it's all kind of there. And then um, the little waistband that's in there is only that big. So I do hate that about these sort of pants, but I cannot imagine that these aren't gonna be the most comfortable things in the world. <laughs> they're like so, so, they're a little heavy though, a little heavy, but that won't be a big deal once you've got them on. So next we have this little guy, and again, no description on this. So I have no idea. So it looks like we have a belt. Is this a shirt? No, I think this is a dress. Okay. 
So it's just a little dress and it comes with a belt that goes across and it's giving the illusion like it's a sports jacket over a dress, which I think is pretty cute. That's awesome. <laughs> that is an awesome idea. And it goes down to right about my knees. And then we have the three quarter sleeves. And this part even feels like a very uh, like light um, sweater kind of material. And then this is almost, this is definitely like a polyester feeling. It feels a little stretchy. Yeah, it has a little bit of stretch to it. And this, then it has a back zipper. And this is in a size medium as well. So, very cute. This one, uh, no description. Oh my God. Oh no. This is a bathing suit. Didn't expect to be trying one of those on. Um, okay, well, I guess we are. So this is a bathing suit. It's very hard to try to show you guys bathing suits unless we're trying them on. But along the side right there, that's what it has, like little crissy cross things, almost like a braid. And then in the front, it has these two little pieces right here that will cross over. So it'll poke up like that. And then you take these and you go across your neck. So this is nice. This is a plus size. And this was in a size medium, so we have a bathing suit to dry on, I guess, too. <laughs> the last thing is a sleeveless color green size small. So this must have been a clickbait item as well. Oh, another nightgown type thing. I've had one of these from there before, and I believe it was red. So here are the shorts. And here is the top. I will definitely have to keep my bra on when I show you this because it is all sheer, but it's just like a little sheer uh, bandeau type bra thing, ish, whatever, you know what I mean. All right, so I guess I'm pretty excited to try these on, not for the bathing suit, but uh, <laughs> let's go. Here is this outfit. I did put my little uh, body tape on, and I'm going to show you the difference between this leg and this leg and why there's a difference. But first, we're going to talk about the top and how cute it is. If you guys haven't noticed, <laughs> which I'm sure you have, <laughs> I really like these types of tops. Um, I still have yet to be able to confidently wear these in public because I'm afraid. I don't know. I'm just afraid. <laughs> no, no real reason. But I do love a sexy little top. These straps are adjustable. All right. So now let's go ahead and show you the legs. So... As you can see, this leg is longer than this leg. And why that is, is because I think that this leg looks kind of silly. So I trimmed it. And I think it looks a lot better, shorter, because it's just, I don't know, it's it's like weirdly long. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it shouldn't be this long. In my opinion, it's just too long. Um, I don't like how much shorter it makes these appear, but... Uh, they're still, you know, for night shorts, they're still pretty long and they're very comfortable. They have like a lot of, you know, room left still. So they're comfortable in that aspect. And I think it was definitely worth the three or four dollars I spent on it. All right. And here is the next dress. And ooh, don't I feel all grown up? <laughs> yes. So I like this one. However, I'm not going to lie. Like I know you can barely see this belt. But I don't like it. I think that it looks better without the belt on. Um, I thought I was going to really like the belt idea, but I don't. Uh, the back is very cute. It just looks like the vest or my jacket stops right here. It does zip all the way up, and you are definitely going to need help zipping it up because I could not. Um, it's a perfect length. It's a really nice material, and this is just... This is a perfect example of how Wish does do some things right, because this is wonderful. It's what you want when you purchase something off the website, you know? And I got this for 79 cents or 80 cents or whatever it is. Perfect. So cute. So grown up. So modern and classy and mm, it's not exactly bougie, <laughs> but it almost is. This is just like, girl, yes, I have a meeting and I'm going to slay that meeting. It feels like high quality. So yeah, I give this a 10 out of 10. Absolutely a 10 out of 10. Now we have those two pants to try on. So let's try those on real quick. All right. So here are the next pants. And I think these would be perfect for nighttime pants. Um, as you can see, they're like the bell bottoms or whatever. 
but they're not low enough. They're at right at that like awkward angle. And if I pull them down more, they are, uh, they are long enough, but then I have this like huge crotch. So there's like a no winning with these pants. Very comfortable, extremely comfortable. And I definitely think they would be the most comfortable nighttime pants you probably ever slept in. It's just this right here. And it just makes your butt look like really bad. <laughs> so let's see what the other ones look like. Fingers crossed, they'll be good. All right, so here are these pants are. And let me show you something. So as you can see, it, they have little knee holes, right? Well, they have way more holes than that. You just can't see them. So if I boom my leg, they have one, two, three, four, five. Five holes in this leg. But when you put it down, you can't really see it that well. This leg has these two holes, this hole, but you can't see them that well. So that's the only bad thing about these. They are a size small, and I do wish that I would have gotten a size up, but I didn't, which is not their fault, mine. Um, it does have this drawstring, but it feels like if I pull it any tighter, it's gonna rip. Let me see if you guys can hear this. So that's the sound of ripping. <laughs> and I don't want to rip these pants any more than they already are. Last but not least, we have the bathing suit to try on, which yes, I'm not looking forward to. I hate one pieces. Um, this one's cute, but I just, I don't know. I'm not in bathing suit mood right now. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try it on, get it over with. All right, so here is the bathing suit. And it's cute, it's nice, but it was a plus size. And I can tell, like right here, I mean, if you can see how loose this back is here. Um, and I do believe that's because this is a plus size. It fits, I mean, this part is very cute. The detailing is really nice. Uh, the top detailing is really nice, but it's also like this is very, very loose because it's a plus size. Now, mind you, I did plan on giving this to my sister, so I completely... Uh, understand that it's going to be bigger on me because I specifically got this for my sister who is a little bit bigger than I am. So that is why I expected it to fit like this. But just to show you what it looks like um, and kind of like what to expect if you like this bathing suit, that is what you expect. That's all. <laughs> but it is really cute. Um, I think the designs on the side are just adorable and I think this would look very good on a lot of different body shapes. So let's go ahead and sit down and finish this up. All right, you guys, and that was everything. I think I got a lot of good stuff. I will continue to get things off of Wish just because I love Wish. Wish is my, you know, OG shopping place to go and I'm a fan. <laughs> so if you guys have stuck around until the end with me, then you guys will know that I'm doing a subscriber giveaway. I announced that on my last video, and I just wanna go ahead and make sure that I mention it again on this video. I'm going to be doing one more video before I announce the winner, or my next video possibly will be the announcement of the winner. I don't really know how I'm going to do it yet, but please, if you wanna make sure that you are entered in that giveaway, I need you guys to go to my last video that I posted, and please make sure that you put a comment underneath that video and I will be choosing with that random wheel chooser, um, one winner that I will be sending something to. Again, unfortunately, you guys have to live in the United States, but soon that will change. So thank you guys so much for sticking with me. I sincerely appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, and most importantly, smash that like button. And until next time, you guys, bye.